All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I want to say it again all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. Salutations to the Akim that's teaching the truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the believers and the followers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, I'm just going to get straight to the point, man. This, this fucking place got to go, man. You know? I just woke up this morning and pissed the hell off. This world is vexation of the spirit, man. You know? And to keep yourself in the spirit, every time you wake up in the morning, remind yourself that this is not your rest, man. This is not your fucking rest. The most I damned this place. The most I destined this place for destruction. All right? Now, you know, as Israelites, you know, the most I gave us a gift. You know, he blessed us. It's a, it's a blessing and it's a curse. You know, the the, uh, the power to adapt. You know, because Jake adapts to shit. And, you know, they don't get as pissed off because, you know, they adapted to their environment. They adapted to their surroundings. But us being in this truth, even though we have to adapt, you know, and as we get older in the faith, we adapt. You know, we don't get as mad at certain things. But you gotta, we gotta hasten the day, man. We can't be complacent. We can't be too comfortable, all right? Because this is not our rest. Plain and simple, this is not our rest, man. And everything is a vexation to the spirit because this ain't the kingdom of heaven, man. Just sitting back and thinking about it, how our people used to conquer lands. We used to conquer people, had people in subjection under us, all right? We used to be in, in the positions of authority, we used to be in rulership. We had the best of crops, the best of everything when we served the Most High, okay, and kept his Lord, statutes, commandments. We can't do none of that here. We can't conquer people. We can't have people in subjection. We're in subjection, okay? We're feeling all the infirmities and all the hell from our people, the hatred from our people. This place got to fucking go, man, all right? This is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. And you got to remind yourself that every morning you wake up, every time you go to bed, we don't have a continuous city here, all right? We do what we got to do to get by, okay? We make our daily bread. We make enough to feed our families and ourselves, and that's it, all right? That's it, man. We ain't looking to be rich or to be comfortable in this place, man, you know? We do what it takes to just to get by. We get a roof over our heads, some clothes on our back, the necessities, man. Everything else is just extra, all right? Everything else is just extra. You do what you got to do. You know, you get your job, you go to a program, whatever you got to do to get a job or get your hustle on, you do it, all right? But remind yourself, this is not our continuing city, okay? This ain't the kingdom of heaven, all right? This is going to be quick, man. This is uh, this is to keep yourself in the spirit, man. You know, cause Satan, Satan. I'll give a quick testimony. Satan was tempting me this week with the family demon. You know, now there's nothing wrong with taking care of your families, being with your families. You know, or none of that. But being too into your family, where it takes away from your studies, or you doing these lessons, or you building up the Akim, or communicating with the Akim. That's Satan, man, all right? That's Satan being a hindrance, using your family, all right? And that's what I've been going through, man, you know? And I thank Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and I give all praises to him for see, showing me that that uh, uh, that hindrance, you know? Because other niggas get caught up, man, you know? Other niggas would just go into the abyss and get caught up into the bullshit of their lives, but thank Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for showing me and pulling me away from that and getting me out that spirit, man. You know? This shit is a vexation of the spirit. You can't even enjoy your family here, man. You know? We got a job to do, Akin. We have a labor to do. All right? So keep your eyes on the prize. Don't get caught up in this bullshit world, man. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Remember that. This ain't your rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. 
And that's exactly what's going to happen to two-thirds of our people. That's exactly what's going to happen to our families and our loved ones and everybody in this fucking world, man. In this wicked, sinful, damned society. All right? It's going to be destroyed with a sword destruction, that nuclear destruction, man. All right? You need to start watching videos with atomic bombs and nuclear bombs going off so the fear of the Lord can grow on you, you know? Because I, I watched that shit recently. I watched some atomic bombs, some nuclear bomb testings, and that shit scared the shit out of me, man. I don't want to be a part of that. Lord's willing, I'm not a part of that. I pray. But I also pray that this happens to this society real soon, man. And it will. These are scriptures y'all I can know, but, you know, the Spirit got me pulling them out. This is Romans. Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13, verse 10. It's a lot. Verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation there than we believe. It's time to wake the fuck up. Get out this fucking slumber of family and all this other bullshit of your work and the hell you catching. We got a job to do. So just get to work, man. You know, so we can get the hell out of this place. All right? Because all our works are going to be tried. Don't forget that, man. The scriptures say that our works are going to be put through the fire. So you're going to be tried, man. Our works are going to be tried. To see who was doing their job and who's not. Who's fulfilling their lot and who's not. Because if you ain't fulfilling your lot or fulfilling your role that the Most High assigned you, you're just a waste of fucking life, man. And the Most High's going to destroy your ass. And I pray that it's none of us, you know, none of the brotherhood. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 1. I said in my heart, go to now and I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure, and behold, that is all vanity. Now, this is King Solomon, man. All right? He was the king. He had 40 years of peace. He had everything that he desired, his heart desired. And he said, this is something that's Jake into. All right? This is why you got to stay plugged into this book of life. You got to stay plugged into the scriptures. Stay drinking this water. I said in my heart, go to now, and I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure, and behold, this is also vanity. All right? It goes on. I said of laughter, it is mad of mirth. What doeth it? I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly, till I might see what was, what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heaven. All the days of their life. I made me great works. I builded me houses. I planted me vineyards. It says. I'm trying to wait for it to focus. I made me gardens and or orchids. And I planted trees in them and all kinds of fruits. I made me pools of water. To water if they're with. The wood bringeth forth trees. I got me servants and maidens, and I have servants born in my house. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem. So Solomon had it made, man. This is the light that Jake strives after. But guess what? This isn't our rest. All right? It says, this is the life that Jake kills for. He fucking sacrifice their own family. They do all manners of wickedness to have this type of lifestyle. Let's see what Solomon says. I got me service and made it and had service born in my house. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold and uh, peculiar treasures of kings and of the provinces. I got me men singers and women singers and delights of the sons of men as of musical instruments and that all of the sorts. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me. So after all that, he still had the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the fear of the Mosai. And, who, who, and whatsoever my eyes 
desire I kept not from them. He had everything his heart desired, man. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all labor, in all my labor, and this was the portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of the spirit. Try and get that cleared up. It said, All was vanity and vexation of the spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. God damn, man. God damn. All that sh all the things that Solomon just named, Jake dies for, kills for, murder their own people for, sell uh souls and blood sacrifices and all types of shit. Solomon had it all and told you that it was not worth it. It's all vanity. All right? Because ain't nothing going to be perfect until the kingdom of heaven, man. Ain't nothing going to be perfect until the kingdom of heaven. And this is coming from a man that had it all, man. All right? So just remind yourself, Akim, when you wake up and before you go to bed, remind yourself, this ain't your rest, man. Don't get complacent. Don't get com Don't get comfortable. Pray to the most high to strengthen your spirit to overcome the temptations and the trials and get to work. Because we got work to do, man. Remember that. With that, I hope y'all brothers was edified. Till next time, I say shalom.